How's everybody doing? Yeah, all right. My name is Gert van Vught, and I'm the CEO of Sustainer Homes. Six months ago, my team and I came together on a shared vision for a revolutionary housing company. In the last 10 weeks, we've secured 165,000 euros worth of seed funding and are looking at a sales pipeline of over one and a half million euros. Let me tell you how we've completely reinvented the home. The problem is clear. We're not organizing our basic resources that we need for our daily lives in a sustainable way. Our water reserves are running low, our fossil fuels are running out, and we're still getting most of the materials we're using from mines. If we keep going like this, we're simply going to run out. Now, you know it, I know it, and except for a couple of Republican Americans, everybody in the world knows this stuff. But still, we're not changing. Why? Because the system we have for this looks something like this. To use energy in my home, it's connected to the electricity grid. This gets its um, energy from a power plant burning fossil fuels that we get from some people we really do not like to depend on. Over the whole chain, a staggering 70% of the energy is wasted. And this is the Dutch case. Globally, this is over 90% of the energy is wasted in the system. And this is the case for gas and water as well. The grid is tying our houses to the earth and to the past. But what if we could build a house, provide the daily resources without any connection to the grid whatsoever? What if we could build a house that is completely self-sufficient and independent? Well, we can. Six months ago, my team and I modeled the sustainer, a house that doesn't deplete any resources and re relies completely on renewable technology. Using energy from the sun and wind, stored in batteries, we've cut off our dependence on the energy supply completely, using no fossil fuels whatsoever, no compromise. We capture and filter rainwater to become cleaner than Dutch tap water. And after use, it runs through a plant filter so it can safely be re restored in the ground. And the materials themselves are all recyclable or recycled themselves even. Now, conveniently, closing all these cycles and going off-grid means that we can circumvent a lot of the building regulations. But the important thing is that finally it's possible to live a comfortable, regular life where there's no grid available, unlocking a whole world of potential, literally. And this is how comfortable off-grid living can be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're thinking, you know, a couple of pictures, what is this? Can they really pull this off? I am extremely proud and super excited. You might have seen it already, but after, in the last six months, we've been working our asses off for five weeks. We've been building day and night, and it's standing right outside, ladies and gentlemen, the very first sustainer in the world here in Sugar City. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Remember, a regular house has 35,000 euros worth of bills, basically, for your gas, your water, and your electricity in the next 25 years. With the sustainer, these costs are zero. We're rolling out the sustainer in three phases. In phase one, uh, we're now entering phase one. Uh, we're developing and improving the systems further together with the partners that helped us build the prototype, like Vodafone, Triple Solar, and Global Wetlands. And together with our launching customers who are extremely excited to start field testing the sustainer, we're field testing it through the winter. But that's not all. I have some great news. Just this week, we closed a two-year development partnership together with one of the major energy suppliers in the Netherlands. Together with the experts who built Tone, the smart thermostat, we will build an interface that connects the sustainable technology with the user. Ladies and gentlemen, they're even buying our very first sustainer. A very warm round of applause for our launching partner, Eneco. Thank you. After we've perfected the product, we're ready to launch our full sales proposition in phase two. 
We know our customers. We're talking to 27 of them already with a uh, sales pipeline of over one and a half million. These people are very excited to put holiday homes in the most unique and beautiful locations in the Netherlands where there's no grid available, like the roof of B Amsterdam, for example, uh, or in the middle of the Dutch polder. And this is a great market to launch because not only can we get a lot of feedback from many different customers, but in fact, uh, we can expose off-grid living and familiarize people with this market, basically build the whole market. Now, that's why our investor saw this double win and is very excited to start the first sustainer resort with six sustainers in Hilversum. Ladies and gentlemen, the first sustainer resort. <laughs> But eventually, we're going to have to look across the borders. Let's face it, the Netherlands has the most tight-knit grid in the world. But in the rest of Europe, connection is an expensive and painstaking process. And that's why people from Spain, Norway, and Bulgaria, and everything in between have asked for the possibility to buy sustainers already. In fact, one customer is very interested to put 15 sustainers in this beautiful, unconnected valley in Turkey. That's the plan. Let me tell you a bit more about the people who realized this in less than six months. Wolf Behrens is a true champion in sustainable technology from the University of Wageningen. Uh, Sol van Kempe is a notorious sustainable architect from the University of Delft. And Jacinta Baas is in charge of business development and studied at the London School of Economics. Together with Nick, Stephanie and Nick, we can realize our dream of making the world more sustainable and making people more independent. And together with our lead mentors and the whole sustainer society, if you will, we have what it takes to bring the sustainer to life. Ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely proud to announce that pre-sales of the sustainer are hereby officially opened. <laughs> and I would, yeah, wait, 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 wait for it. But first, I would like you to imagine what you would do with your sustainer. Would you put it somewhere on a Caribbean island? Would you put it on top of your office building? Or would you join a floating city somewhere in international waters? I believe sustainability is the route to freedom. So if you want to feel what true freedom feels like, come join us in the sustainer outside. Grab an off-grid beer. They're the very best. It's running off-grid as we speak. Come join us. And thank you very much for listening. <laughs>